Hi folks, Captain Mike here from South of Cape, and today I'm with Colin Lundholm from Cape Star Charters. And today we're in Cape Cod Bay fishing a squid bite. Yeah, really good squid bite at that. Um, we've had varying times throughout the morning. We, when we first came out, we had them all over the surface. We had a little lull, and then we just had a really good bite on top. Um, there was big fish smashing, you know, decent sized squid. It lasted for about a half an hour. It's a really good bite. Medium to large size squid, so we want a larger profile lure, an amber sort of pink pattern to you know, replicate, you know, obviously a natural squid coloration. Today, um, following your recommendation to fish the popper, you know, these fish, you know, lay down a little bit that extra commotion, the popping noise and the rattle, you know, all combined in the lure, just working on the surface is a great way to call these fish up, you know, as we're seeing them marking here in 20, 25 feet of water. And everything's kind of died down now, but the fish are still in this area. We're fishing about 30 to 40 foot of water. Um, and what we're doing now is we're just cruising around. We're looking at our sonar and our side scan. We're just trying to get in an area where the fish are. And we're shutting down, cutting and drift away from everybody. And we're just letting the plugs do their work and getting the fish up to the surface. They were right here. I would just cast. Oh, you're gonna fall, huh? Got that one, that's a decent fish. Colin's hooked up. Nice overcast day, not a lot of wind on Cape Cod. Ideal conditions to find these fish. You know, a popper creates a lot of commotion on the surface. You know, it's great when you're in a blind casting situation. Certainly, if you can see them breaking on the surface. Good eye, Cullen. We uh, just put it over, found those fish, couple casts, great way to start the day. These stripers are hungry on squid right now. Good squid color imitations. Today we have the amber and pink colored, you know, hoagie charter grade popper. A little bit of commotion comes in handy when you're blind casting. Uh, but it's just a great morning. I want to get this big fish back in the water. So we're swimming this fish. Cullen has the boat in idle. These bigger fish will usually have enough strength just to shake out of my grip, and that's my tell for when this fish is ready. The pectoral fins are starting to stick out, clamping on my thumb a little more. There we go. So the stripers today in Cape Cod Bay are keyed in on squid. So uh, the squid today we've noticed are small to medium sized squid. Uh, you'll notice here that I have the hoagie charter grade popper in the amber coloration. Uh, you can see that it's a perfect size and profile and coloration to match these squids. You also notice that it's a popper because these fish are scattering uh, when they're aggressively feeding. Um, anything in the right color, size, profile, you know, is a, is a good bet. But when you start blind casting, when you when the fish have been scattered and they're searching out the squid, a popper is great to create that commotion and call the fish in, draw attention to your lure. So to fish a popper, like we're fishing them today, is really, really pretty simple. So when you cast out, there's a little bit of breeze today. You want to make sure you get in direct contact with your line here. And when I pop it, I'm just keeping my rod tip pointed towards the sky and imparting short, you know, twitching, popping actions of the rod tip. I have what I'd call sort of a medium, slow to medium retrieve speed. I'm just working this lure so it's making a rhythmic pop, pop, pop sort of cadence across the surface. And you have that cup face in its nose, and that's going to push water. There's rattles inside the popper that's also going to create some noise. But as you get closer in, say about halfway in your cast, you'll notice that you're going to want to drop your rod tip down toward the water because the angle's getting too tight with your rod tip, and you're going to get a little more out of your cast as far as good action with the lure. So about midway, you might find it necessary to drop your rod tip angle toward the water and just short little popping motions. The name of the game is to get that bait going pop, 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 pop. So today was just the perfect example of springtime fishing on Cape Cod. Lots of fish, all sizes, including some very big fish. A lot of great top water action, a lot of good visual eats. And it may not be the nicest weather out, it's drizzling. It's a little overcast, not the warmest day ever, but it's just a fantastic day of fishing. Another, um, you know, low 30 inch fish on the popper, but wow, they're chewing this plug up.
I think this is a large fish. I slowed the twitch down, I popped it twice and just let the lure float for a second and this fish just blew up on it. Beautiful top water fish here. So this fish just inhaled this plug. Uh, the squid color pattern is just crushing today. These fish are hungry for squid. I just love spring fishing on Cape Cod when these big fish are keyed in on squid. That was awesome. I'm gonna let this fish back as quickly as I can and get back for another one.